What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review. This time I'm bringing it on the Mutation MTRTA. So, without me talking about it a little bit more, let us dive down. I'll show you guys the ins and the outs, how to build on this thing, and how to re-wick it. So let's do it. guys here we are with the indulgent mutation mt rta it does come stock with the red o-rings but you know i kind of like the blue better so that's what i've been running on it you do get your little typical goodie bag red o-rings blue screwdriver this little thing right here is to block off the airflow so you can single coil it you do get o-rings extra screws and an extra pyrex glass so in order to operate the adjustable airflow it's real simple you got a wide open right here both sides slot it over here like that and you got it closed off on one side so you can single coil it now as you guys can see it does say indulgent mt rta indulgence my bad <laughs> I don't know why it says mutation tank in there, but you know, it is what it is. Nice little drip tip it comes with, a nice little shorty drip tip. So not bad, not bad. All right, let me take this thing apart for you guys. Best part is, you can use your own drip tip. I got me a blue dot mod drip tip. Yeah, just because I'm matchy-matchy like it. But nice standard 510. There's your fill port right here. It'd have been nice if they had put like a little air vent, air hole on the other side. But, you know, got to use a little beaker. But if it does drop down in there, hey, just get your coils wet. So, there you go. There's your little chimney. Now, this part screws off. Whoops. I'm pulling a fort and twist at 420 there. <laughs> and here's the deck. Check out those juice wells, man. Look at them. Woo! I miss some juice wells, I tell you. Now this RTA has got to be the most user friendly. This is for you guys that are beginners at RTAs. I mean, I, this is the easiest RTA I've had to date. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm not a big fan of RTAs. I mean, I like them. But I don't have a problem with buying coils for my sub tanks because I don't use them that much. So, but for an RTA, this is definitely got to be my easiest one to build on flavor wise i wouldn't say it's as good as the goblin mini but it is it, it is good it's not great but it's good airflow you definitely got a lot of airflow definitely you got plenty of airflow there so let me go ahead put a build on this thing and i'll show you guys how to re-wick it here's the specs for this device just in case i forget to mention them in the video that way you guys are all aware of everything that this device has, all of its capabilities, all that good stuff listed right there. So, without further ado, let us get back. Alright guys, I got a build on here. Let me show you guys how to wick it. Just cut you off a slither. That's what I get, is just a slither. Go ahead and feed it through there. Make sure it's not too tight, not too loose. You want to make sure 
that you got a little access. A little excess hanging off there, see? See what I mean? Alright, so what I want you guys to do is kind of leave it to where it's hanging off at the base. Then I want you to take it, do it like so, kind of cram it in there. I mean, don't cram it, but you know, kind of kind of fit it up in there to where, you know, it fills them juice holes. Because you do got some big old juice channels. We don't want no leakage. That is what I do. Should look something like that. Now, going to get some juice. Let me find some juice laying around here somewhere. Kind of want to juice these uh, wicks up pretty good. There you go. All juiced up. Let's go ahead and put her back together. Alright, now we got her back together relatively. I'll go ahead and put some juice up in her. I will be using my dot mod drip tip just because that is the way I roll. Alright, we got some juice in her. Let's go back to FaceTime, guys. Guys, that was my up close and personal with the Indulgence Mutation MTRTA. I hope my wicking method helps you guys out. It has worked great for me. Right now I have it sitting on top of this Decimus by Praxis. It is reading at 0.33 ohms, sitting at 60 watts. What can I say, man? This thing, this thing chucks. I mean, it's it's good. I, I'm actually a big fan of this RTA. It's not the greatest flavor I've ever had, but it is good. So, you know, the juice channels make it simple to build on. It's really easy. It's definitely user friendly, especially for all these new guys out here that aren't familiar with RTAs. This one is probably your best bet to build on. It is more friendlier than all of them. It's not much of a hassle. Right now, I'm not going to lie to you. The biggest concerns that you have with this is leaking. You don't have the dry hit. You don't have to worry about dry hit as much as you do with all the other RTAs. You just have to worry about leaking. You just have to make sure you put enough cotton in there. Now, my pros and my cons with this device is... The screws. I mean, the screws are not the best at all. That is why I am a bigger fan of the grub nut or whatever screws you guys want to call them. I like them because they lock down, they do not loosen up. These, I actually have had problems with them loosening up, so it's kind of caused more of a more of a headache to me than it should be. But, I mean, if you tighten them down snug enough, it's... They're, they're stay there, but they do kind of eventually knock loose. So, other than that, um, I don't really have that many cons about this thing. I do like that, you know, it's easy to build on. has huge juice channels. I like that you can use your own 510 drip tip. It does have collar options. I do wish they would give you more than blue and red as your collar options. I mean, not everybody likes blue and red. I mean, what if I wanted some black O-rings? Come on, guys. Anyways, I like that they offer the single coil option for people that like single coil. Me, personally, I like dual coil. So, that's what I go with. But, it is nice that they include that option. I do like the adjustable airflow. The tension is not too bad. Just wish they would fix them screws. That is my only grief about this device. And I wish they would include... A air hole for when you're filling up the juice. That way you don't have to worry about what size bottle you use, man. Ain't nobody want to worry about that. We just want to juice. We just want to put some juice on it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like. Comment if you have any problems. Or just comment just to talk to me. Come on, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. You guys just keep those co coils wet, alright? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah.